Pentacles, putting the nose to the grindstone, working on it, engaging, building, perfecting, really digging in, covered by the two of Pentacles, no less, talking about um, prioritization and balance in your life. Balancing things out, putting the nose to the grindstone, to the Ace of Wands, and creating an inspired, passionate new beginning in your life. Ace of Swords, your truth. What's your truth? It's the same Ace of Swords up here, right? What's your truth? Well, the truth is the Ace of Cups. How the heck are you? Hope everybody is doing fine. I hope y'all are doing fine. Welcome to the channel. I am Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Pull up a chair. Come on in. Sit down. Snuggle up, get you a blanket, get you something to drink, something to smoke, something to eat, put your feet up, put your earbuds in, TV on, however you flow, right? Whatever your role is, is fine by me. But just get ready, because we're going to lay down some cards. Y'all, I feel a need to read. I do. I feel a need to read. I do. I was going to do this as a twofer video for Pisces and Taurus. But everybody, nobody gets that but you guys, right? Nobody gets... See, I'm a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus, okay? And for whatever reason, what comes out of me is usually applicable. If you're Taurus and you resonate with the reading, you're most likely going to resonate with the Pisces reading as well and vice versa. If you're Pisces and you resonate with your reading, you're probably going to resonate with the Taurus reading too, no matter if you don't even have a lick of Taurus in your chart or a lick of Pisces in your chart. I don't know why. It just is. So anywho, I'm going to officially call this the Taurus reading. I am a Taurus, and we're going to read for Taurus today. But I bet you any money, a multitude of Piscean people will be able to resonate with this video as well. But let's throw down and see what we get. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle and I pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. We'll talk about it as I clarify it and we'll sew together a story. Okay. I will fast forward this video through all of the shuffling um, and the clarification process once we lay out the root cards and we'll just go ahead and jump in and read what it is that we lay out. Ready? Let's do it. Okay. Spirit source, universal energy. I have the collective with me and they want to know what you know, spirit. Whoever it is that this is hitting, whoever it is that it hits, they want to know, whoa, did you see that? They want to know what you know, spirit. What's coming towards them? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? Spirit, Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen in these cards to bring the collective the information that they need to know and understand. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them as well. Mm. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle a few more times. I'll cut three times, and I'll begin to pull straight from the top. Please let this be a better reading than the cards that are flying out, Spirit. Shuffle three more times. I'll cut three times, and I'll pull straight from the top. Please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen. All right, let's do it. Let's cut three times and see what we get. Let's go. Can y'all see that up there? Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. All right. Bottom of the deck, four of cups in reverse. Apathetic, stubborn, giving up on contemplating something. Hmm, interesting. First card out. Ouch. The Eight of Cups in reverse. For real, you guys. The Eight of Cups in reverse. So hopelessness and walking away. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Selfishness. One-sided charity. Yeah. 
the seven of pentacles reflecting and assessing trying to figure out what you did wrong or how to fix something temperance in reverse and imbalance some kind of healing that needs to take place in order to find some kind of purpose to the four of wands in reverse talking to us about uh i guess you can see talking to us about um stability um harmony right long-term relationships all that good stuff three of cups in reverse this is either either stifled creativity or a third party situation to the nine of pentacles in reverse an overinvestment of time and effort um also about um for some reason it's speaking codependence to me that has nothing to do with this card at all except in the upright it's about self-sufficiency and independence bringing things to a culmination and in the we'll see when i clarify to these seven of cups options choices and decisions in the center of your reading so the tone of your reading is hopelessness and walking away and in the center of your reading this whole revol the reading revolves around you making a decision with the ace of swords your truth to the ten of swords to bring something to an end to the eight of pentacles to engage in something else to the ace of wands inspired action the three of swords grief and sorrow the hermit in reverse isolation loneliness withdrawal the nine of swords intense anxiety and despair what the fuck taurus the chariot in reverse blockage the hanged man being kept there for a minute to the star awesome the moon okay the nine of wands resistance persilient per persistence resilience the five of swords in reverse to the devil in reverse four of swords all right now we're getting somewhere about the conflict of the five of wands the lost the regret the despair that okay eight of wands good change right prince of pentacles change for the better uh, change for the future queen of pentacles in reverse dumping something stress in the family the sun in reverse not happy the six of cups children or someone something from your past the prince of swords in reverse scattered in the mind the alchemist in reverse um we'll see and the ace of pentacles let's see the empress in reverse to the king of cups i feel like that's important too judgment in reverse shit to the three of pentacles prince of cups in reverse to the six of swords to the two of cups in reverse to the eight of swords and the fool that's where we'll stop the fool oh justice in reverse we got to take that and the seven of swords holy schmoly four of pentacles we'll take that and then the six of wands victory progress and success all right we're stopping there we have to stop somewhere all right man y'all what are we in we're 10 minutes in already and ain't got hardly jack squat accomplished all right let's see what all this is about right here i hate it when you're taking a sip of something and the ice cubes crash against your teeth oh, i hate that all right Oh, a few things you need to know about me before we get started here, all right? There is a very high probability that I am going to be inappropriate somehow, some way, all right? I am probably guarantee you I'm going to swear if I haven't sworn already, all right? Yeah, sometimes uh, I'll hike up my bra strap or sometimes I'll answer a phone call. So I'm not a professional YouTube person. This is like hang out with Dana. I feel like throwing down some cards. I got a shit ton of y'all out there that want to see me throw down cards and I'm in the mood to throw down cards and I'm in my house and I'm in my cool little space and that's what this is. So no judgment, no criticism. I do things the way that I do things and if you don't like it, now is the time to take a very hard left, my friend. So I'm going to smoke my vape. I'm going to meditate on these cards. I'm going to fast forward and we will pick up right where we left off right here okay it's imperative to remember that everyone's situations and circumstances are different and therefore your journey is different the only way to know the path of your journey is to have your own cards read 
binge watching tarot card readings will mess up your mind and it will waste your time. Cut to the chase and have someone read your cards for you. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups in reverse, right? This is about walking away from something. Walking away from something to the Tower in reverse. Um, this is twofold. I'm looking for my cards. This is twofold. This is about a personal transformation for you. And it's it's also about averting disaster, okay? So, and, and this reading is very much for you. It's not about you. It's like for you. You'll see as I read, it's it's a it's a different than I normally read for somebody I don't know, right? So, but you know, I think um anyway. All right. So the eight of cups in reverse, it's walking away from something, okay? Um, out of just disappointment, just utter disappointment. The tower in reverse it talks about um um, a transformation, a personal transformation. And this personal transformation is happening to help you avert disaster of some sort in your life, okay? And this could be someone around you as well, but I'm pretty sure that this is talking about you yourself, okay? The Knight of Swords in reverse talks about just being scattered in the mind, just not being able to think straight. Yeah, look at this to the eight of cups this is about abandonment disappointment to the king of pentacles in reverse a lack of success this is also someone that feels so out of control on the inside that they try to control the outside by being worried about appearances by trying to maintain some kind of game um even when they can't really maintain the game okay and it's just, this is, these cards are about you just being just disgusted with your life. Honestly, I'm sorry to say that, but it's true. Um, just being utterly disgusted with your life and realizing that you ain't getting nowheres with the King of Pentacles in reverse. Could be somebody that you love. This could be a child. This could be um, a relationship. It's, but it's somebody in your world if it's not you, okay? So disgusted. Ten of Cups, right? And you want happiness. You want to find your peace. You want to find your harmony. And you want happiness. And you're just tired of the way that things have been going in your life. And you're just like, oh, jeez. You know, I mean, really? Cut me some fucking slack, would you? <laughs> right? So the Six of Pentacles in reverse. I think this is about your living situation. It's your living situation. Um, to, it could be a work situation, okay? To the moon in reverse, talking about um, releasing fear, okay? So the moon in reverse is talking about you diving into your subconscious mind, your intuition, and all foggy, trying to figure out exactly what it is that you need to do and and releasing fear dealing with your emotions and releasing the fear to the empress in reverse this is about a creative block um this could be codependency okay so maybe you're codependent on someone and that's what you're releasing the fear about and it has to do with your living situation yeah something about the living situation had to be dealt with emotionally um and the empress in reverse is talking about codependency right um in your immediate environment somehow some way but you're tired of it over here, right? You're just tired of it. You're just tired of the way that things are going in your life. You could be totally single and just hate your freaking house, right? Or hate your neighbors. God, I just saw this thing on TV, one of those crime shows where this chick got a really good deal on an apartment and her neighbor was an absolute freaking psychopath that would just scream at the top of her lungs all night long for no reason. It was crazy. So could be a situation like that, right? It could be anything but there's some kind of codependency and you're tired of it you're tired of the whole thing king of swords in reverse manipulated you're being manipulated or someone is manipulating you to the 
Ten of Swords in reverse in a financial aspect. Um, maybe you're paying all the rent and they're not paying nothing and you're like, I'm sick and tired of this. This has got to change. It's got to stop. And I'm going to walk away from all this bullshit. It could be something about living at home with your parents, tired of it. Your parents living at home with your kids, tired of it, right? It could be a variety of different things in your life or in someone's life immediately surrounding you, okay? Seven of Pentacles, and you're just really thinking, number one, how do I get myself into this mess? And number two, how do I get myself out of this mess? That's what you're doing in the Seven of Pentacles, reflecting and assessing. Why? Three of Wands in reverse, because you didn't have any foresight. Um, you, it, the, being in this situation is an obstacle to your long-term goals, and you never really saw this situation turning into what it is right now anyway, okay? Temperance in reverse, so misalignment, right? Misalignment. Temperance upright is about balance, patience, purpose. Um, in your, in your, in your life. And this is not purposeful for you. There's an imbalance here in your life that needs to be realigned because you want the 10 of cups, right? To the four of wands, four of wands, um, is talking about you want structure and stability and harmony back in your life. Eight of Pentacles talks about working on it, engaging, building, right? You're done with all of this. You are having a transformation. You are averting, you are, you are averting disaster and you are, you're, you're cutting bait and, and going home because there ain't no more fish to be caught right here, right? And the Four of Wands represents your desire to have stability and structure and harmonious life and a harmonious relationship, but not in this situation. And you're willing to work for it. You're planning and you're working on it. And you're engaging right now to build the kind of life that you want to see because you ain't happy in the life that you have right now, whoever this is that I'm talking to, you know, and it could be any varying degree of happiness. It could just be something, but the cards are dramatic. They are, you know, they, they are. I mean, hope, faith, purpose, renewal. How many different things can you attach to that, right? They are, they're dramatic. So hold on a minute. I so working on it, willing to engage three of cups in reverse. Something is interfering or has interfered. And it's definitely about an interfering energy, stifled creativity because of the seven of swords, right? Betrayal, deception, futile as well but it's betrayal and deception some kind of fuckery going on to the six of wands you want victory and progress right you're like i am not mm -mm. whatever this third energy is it could be another person it could be mama daddy sister brother girlfriends guy friends children pets <laughs> i mean it could be anything Maybe you're living in a situation with a roommate and they bring home some big ass slobbery dog. Love the big ass slobbery dogs, but your roommate brings home some big ass slobbery dog and it's all over everything and shedding all everything. And they're just like, well, fuck you. This is what it is. And you're like, oh my God, I've got to get out of here. That could be a third party situation. Okay. Understand? And the Seven of Swords, fuckery, right? There was some kind of dishonesty, some kind of fuckery that went down to the Six of Wands and the Ten of Cups in reverse, right? You guys are like, no, I don't want none of this no more. I don't want none of this no more, none of it. I want victory, progress, and success in my life. And therefore, you can have your Ten of Cups and I'm out, I'm out. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. An overinvestment of your time and effort. Um, bringing everything, number one, to a culmination and an overinvestment of your time and effort in whatever this relationship is to temperance in reverse because of this same imbalance that's causing you to want to leave in the first place. Six of cups in reverse. It is unrealistic 
to reconcile any of these differences to the nine of pentacles self-sufficiency independence go in your own way two of cups in reverse leaving whatever this is behind to the page of pentacles in reverse and don't want no more nothing to do with it seven of cups options choices decisions what are you going to do now in the center of your reading walking away setting the tone for your reading the whole world reading revolves around what are you going to do now with the seven of cups what are you going to do now to the ace of swords what is your truth so what you got to ask yourself what's your truth if you can't be true to yourself you can't be true to anybody what is your truth that's the decision that you have to make. What is your truth? You're fixing to go off on a brand new beginning and a brand new journey, taking a quantum leap in your life to the six of pentacles, perhaps because this is saying that you're tired of being the one giving to everyone else. Yep. 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 Look, you got a new perspective and you're manifesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's your truth. Your truth is you are leaving this situation. Your truth is you have a new perspective and you're manifesting because you're tired of being the one that's always giving in this relationship. Look at that. Look at that. The world. Closing out, the Spirit says, close out this chapter of your life and let's get going on a new chapter of your life where you can build and engage and create the Four of Wands in your life. Ten of Swords, bring this stuff to a screeching halt. This could be about also this third party situation over here, right? Feeling betrayed, feeling backstabbed, feeling in crisis. To the Nine of Swords, despair and anxiety, either in a state of Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, despair and anxiety about the situation or in a state of despair and anxiety because of the situation because of the ending of because of the pain of the ten of swords the four of wands in reverse again talking about your living situation a lack of stability a lack of structure in your in your life to the seven of pentacles again reflecting and assessing about what it is you're going to do from this point forward in this new beginning, in this new journey. Eight of Pentacles says you got your mind on your money and your money on your mind. Mind on your money, money on your mind. Eight of Pentacles, putting the nose to the grindstone, working on it, engaging, building, perfecting, really digging in, covered by the Two of Pentacles, no less, talking about um, prioritization and balance in your life. Balancing things out, putting the nose to the grindstone, to the ace of wands, and creating an inspired, passionate new beginning in your life. Ace of swords, your truth. What's your truth? It's the same ace of swords up here, right? What's your truth? Well, the truth is the ace of cups, two things. You've had an emotional rebirth because you've come to some terms in the moon energy about your feelings, right? Um... And you're having an emotional rebirth and choosing to love yourself, the truth of the Ace of Swords, tr choosing to love yourself more than you love this person. And the Ace of Cups is also about your love for this situation or this person or the view that you have out your bedroom window and you don't want to get a new apartment whatever it is for you, right? But you have some feelings about this situation, but your truth is the five of pentacles. You're leaving it out in the cold. You're, you're leaving it out in the cold and you are going to begin a brand new, beautiful beginning in your life. The closure of one cycle and the beginning of another cycle. The three of swords, it's not without some sorrow though. It's not without some grief, but this isn't in the soul, this is in the mind right? This card is about trying to, in this situation, it's about, well, nobody's going to cook me dinner anymore. 
nobody's gonna bring me stuff. I, when my first husband met my first, so my second husband, I've been married twice. Second one was only two years. It was a Vegas wedding. It should have never happened, but I still have to count it. So when we got a divorce and I sat in the, he left, right? I took him to the airport and uh, I sat in the apartment and I looked around and I thought, well, looks like I gotta get up and get my own food now. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, it was funny. I wasn't I wasn't sad at all. It was just like, ah, oh, I gotta do it myself now. That's what the Three of Swords energy is about right there. It's about grief. It's about life change, especially Pisces, if you're watching this, especially for a Taurus, because a Taurus doesn't like change. We want things to just keep on trucking along. And if we can just keep being the life mechanic and working things out and keeping things within the ropes and going straight, that's what we like, right? So when something like this happens for a Taurus, it, um, it kind of throws us for a loop a little bit in the mental. And that's what the Three of Swords is about right there. For the Pisces, if you're watching this, this Three of Swords is you misconstruing the mental grief for emotional grief, right? And there's the Eight of Swords right there, again, in the head, right? You're just overthinking and overthinking and overthinking this whole situation to the star in reverse, right? It's not purposeful for your life, this situation. It's not, it's not purposeful anymore. The world says your job is done. It's the last card in the major arcana. It says you've learned everything you need to learn about this. This situation is over. Let it close out so we can start a brand new phase of your life. The hermit in reverse. I think you're worried about being lonely. Um, I think you're worried about being alone and it goes right back to that three of swords, right? You're worrying about maybe doing it yourself, maybe having to um, get your own place or um, um, leave a relationship or I don't know, maybe your washer and dryer broke and you gotta do your laundry yourself. I don't know, but you don't wanna do it yourself. But the King of Pentacles comes on top of this and says, I will. I will do this myself because I see a lack of purpose in my life three times. A lack of purpose in my life, major arcana, the star in reverse and temperance in reverse twice. And I have to do something about it. The three of cups in reverse, the third party situation, the five of wands in reverse um, has created in you an increased focus on your goals, an increased focus on your goals. Yep, look, the Seven of Pentacles, like the second or third time, and the Four of Cups. You've thought about it, you've contemplated it, you've come up with a plan, and now you're ready to execute because you can't stand the anxiety of the situation that you're in anymore. Whoo-wee, you guys. All right. Chariot in reverse, a blockage to move forward. What's the blockage? Well, up until this point, I think there's been a blockage for you to move forward in your life because of the Five of Swords. It's a win at all costs kind of attitude, which is kind of sort of a Taurus thing too, right? Because Taurus, it's not like a win at all costs, I'm gonna cut your throat if I have to, but it's a win at all costs, almost like I will sacrifice myself any way that I have to, to, to keep the thing together, the thing that makes me happy, the thing that makes me comfortable and feel good, I'll do anything that I have to, to keep it like that, right? I will sacrifice, I will, I'll do anything to keep it like that. And that's what that Five of Swords is. And that's been your blockage to go forward to the Nine of Cups in reverse, but you just can't take the emotional unhappiness anymore. Discontentment to the Seven of Cups again. What are you gonna do about it? Nine of Swords in reverse, defensive, hesitant, paranoid, the Ten of Swords to bring the situation to an end. You've just been 
terrified to end this situation up to this point. But boom, Queen of Swords comes in and says, no, 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 no. We're going to slice and dice this situation to the hangman. We are going to slice and dice this situation. And we are going to make a plan. And we are going to execute it to the star. We are going to engage. We are going to work on it. We're going to prioritize it. And the star talks about hope and faith and purpose and renewal in your life, okay? Um, to the moon, right? In the emotions. To the nine of wands, let's see. In the emotions, um, resistant, pers re resilient, persistent, resistant. Five of swords in reverse. To change, the devil in reverse. But now you're releasing those limiting beliefs. Four of Swords contemplating in a defensive posture what your next move is going to be. The Five of Wands, conflict. Five of Cups, loss, regret. Eight of Wands, making some changes, right? Making some changes. Prince of Pentacles, been like this for too long. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, dumping somebody or removing yourself from a title. The Sun in reverse, because you're not very optimistic to the Six of Cups that this is that this could be reconcilable. Prince of Swords in reverse. This is a disregard for consequences. Alchemist in reverse. This is about um, exploring your own untapped potential because remember down here you were afraid to do it by yourself. And this alchemist being Major Arcana and Spirit speaking to you, if this was your reading for real, um, the alchemist in reverse talks about your untapped talents. It talks about your potential to manifest. The Ace of Pentacles, a brand new opportunity in your life. But you, you have to leave whatever this is behind and it's no longer working for you anymore either. But they might owe you some money or they might be taking advantage of you somehow in a money aspect somehow. I don't know. The Empress in Reverse talks about um, no longer being codependent like you were in the Empress in Reverse up here, but now a creative block, right? A creative block to the King of Cups, despite the feelings, judgment in reverse, um, despite the feelings, judgment in reverse, uh, decision to not make a decision, a bad decision. No. Okay, so the King of Cups is is your feelings at like the Ace of Cups back here, right? It's your feelings for the situation. You have feelings for the situation, but judgment in reverse says it's a bad idea. It's a bad decision, Three of Pentacles, to continue engaging in any kind of collaboration in this situation. Prince of Cups in reverse, withdrawing your feelings. The Six of Swords, regretful but necessary transition, a rite of passage. What's the rite of passage? You've learned all of the lessons that you need to learn in this situation about these, peop these people or this person with the world card, wherever it went, and now it's time to move on. Two of Cups in reverse. Broken relationship. Eight of, so eight of Swords, right? All up in your head again with the Fool, just like you were down here. It's the exact same cards. we got the Fool and the Eight of Swords, right? This is about you being all caught up in your head um, to the Fool, about not about this situation anymore, about, but the future, right? What's going on? Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? Justice in reverse, injustice, seven of swords, betrayal and deception. Um, let me, I'm, I'm going to clarify these. I want to know what this is about real quick. We're almost done. Let's see. Justice in reverse. What is the betrayal and the deception? The three, the third party situation could absolutely be the betrayal and the just deception. And it was an injustice. Well, it is the betrayal and the deception, but I want some specifics. So spirit, can you tell me specifically anything about, um, betrayal, deception, and injustice? Betrayal, deception, and injustice. Betrayal, deception, and injustice. The Ace of Wands. Yep, that was the root back here. The Ace of Wands um, for you to do what you're going to do. Because Four of Pentacles in reverse, this is self-protection. This is doing what's best for you and screw anybody and everybody else. Look, bro, I got to look out for number one and this is not cutting it anymore and I have to bounce. Peace out.
That's what that's about. To the Six of Wands. And then you proceed into your future in an energy of victory, progress, and success. Because you kicked this dragon's butt and now you're ready to move on down the road to bigger and better things and um, be successful. And that's what this whole thing is about right here. I'm sorry it was so vague, but it's a general reading, right? If you want me to read your cards, you can reach me at thegypsypsychic.com. And um, yeah, there you go. Hey, join me over on Patreon, right? Patreon got this video like a day or two early. And we are having once a month meetings. Our first meeting is going to be on the, on the last Wednesday. It's always the last Wednesday of every month. And um, we're going to hang out and sit around and chat it up and might have to break it into two separate meetings because there's kind of a, a, a lot of people. So I'm not really sure how that's going to work yet, but we're going to work it out. And every month thereafter, we will have a get together. It's a Zoom call where we're just going to all just shoot the shit, talk the tarot and metaphysical stuff and just stuff. We're just going to chat and talk about stuff. I'm going to have a once a month meeting also for people who want to learn to read the tarot. So if any of that is attractive to you, bounce on over to Patreon. The link is in the box below. And uh, yeah, you want to learn to tarot? I got tarot school too. Namaste.